matches looked a minute ago. 20,000. Oh, my goodness. Um, you guys have blown this old man up. How old are you, old man? I saw Peter, Paul, and Moses play Ring Around the Roses, and I'll lick the guy who says I didn't sell. That's from a song. Um, I was born about 10,000 years ago. I think the Seekers wrote that, and Elvis, Elvis did a cover of it. Oh, lots of people have covered it. Um, and this got to have like 50 different verses to it. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. Um, and I don't know what to say. Uh, 20,000. 20,000. You know, I bought a 10-year anniversary cigar to celebrate you guys when, when, you, when you hit 10,000. And uh, now I've got to go buy a 20-year anniversary cigar somewhere. So uh, to celebrate that, I um, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, man, I am touched. I really am. Um, um, thank you again. Uh, here's what we're going to do today. He said with total confidence that this plan will work perfectly. We do Abigail. She's in camp. Then I'm gonna pay the bounty in Valentine because I can't go across to the other train station and to pay it because there's a 300 over 300 dollar bounty on you, you Micah, you dirty dog. And then. My son says to investigate the doctor's office. I haven't been to the doctor's office, so investigate the doctor's office. Then I want to get head back to uh, uh, Chez Porter, or Shea, however you pronounce it. I think that's French. Is it Shea? Shea Porter? C-H-E-Z. Um, because many of you said that that uh, pump action uh, shotgun might still be there, and I missed it. So I want to get that done. And then back to town, and there's a there's a, uh, a wanted poster at the sheriff's office. So I want to do that. Uh, now I don't know after that. Well, uh, Micah is there, but man, you know, I'm going to, I plan to get this bounty paid off. You know, we'll do it. Like I said, Ab what what I say? I, I got it written down here. Abigail, pay the bounty. Check out the doctor's office. My son says. Then I'm gonna get, head on back there to that um, the Shed's Porter, and and look for that shotgun. And then I'll come back and do the bounty at the sheriff's office. Collect some money on that. And then I think uh, uh, there's a barber shop over there. I haven't had a haircut. So uh, maybe you go in there and get his hair cut, get my hair cut and take a bath. And maybe Micah, I mean, he's there. I mean, there's a yellow dot there. Um, and then my son said before I start hunting for all the satchels to go get this legendary buck that's over there on the other side of Strawberry. Once I have the bounty paid off, I'll be able to go over there safely. And that legendary buck, he said bring the pelt to the trapper, but then bring, I guess the horn, whatever I get from it, uh, to the uh, fence, and, uh, and he'll give me a trinket. And this trinket uh, has the power, the power two turn um, to upgrade pelts so like if you have a two star pelt uh, if you have this trinket it can turn it into a three star pelt and it'll make it easier to do the satchels so that's the plan Sam um, let's see how long all that takes and uh, let's see what the game plans to do the game plan is different than my plan Let's get going. Got my $13 Walmart readers on. 
so I can see without being on top of the screen. Should probably plug the headset in. Beautiful morning. Okay, I'll save. That actually saved my butt on one of those missions, man. Uh, Abigail was the plan, Sam. We can go chop some wood. Won't hurt. Do our chores. And they're talking and I missed it. I just love the scenery. The birds singing. Is that Abigail back there? Uh, with the red hair? Look at that sun shining on her hair. Right, right, right past that boulder. I don't know if that's Abigail, but whoever it is has some pretty red hair. So my um, honor is just slightly towards the good. That's all right. I thought it would be a lot worse after all of that mission. Um, it looks like that just might be Abigail back here. No, it's just going to be her sitting in the tent. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. <laughs> Would you do something with Jack? Do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Why, sure. Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Are you talking about John? John's his father? All right. Um, let's go find Jack. Oh, you know what? Uh, I'm, I think I know what this is. Um, there he is. Hi there. What you up to? Just minding my own business. Antagonize. What a pathetic little weasel you are. <laughs> Not this again. That's a tip from the comment section. Uh, greet, greet, antagonize to get his uh, sarcastic remark out. Um, now he's bringing the food out. Imagine we could, uh, we could chow down a little bit. Or not. Oh, come on. What's it got to cook a bit? We got to let it simmer. Pearson. Apparently. All right. Where's Jack? There he is. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Fishing? Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's about time that you start adorning your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Oh, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made This is where I get a fishing pole. Let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. Finally. Yeah. Mount your horse. We're going to pull Jack up. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. 
Yeah, from the comments, because uh, I was talking about how I haven't fished yet. How do I get him up here? It just happens automatic? Yeah. Okay. Um, where are we headed? Toward, towards the X? Oh, we got a yellow brick road. Uh, where are we going? Yeah. So now I have a fishing pole. Sweet. I have this other holster too, but I already have two holsters. I think that's okay. I think I'm okay with that. Story, 19%. Down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I was talking about how to, how was, I was ever going to get a chance to fish. So, just like you. Well, shut up. I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. It's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're not. This is our spot. All right. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? Find Jack a penny dreadful book. Won't let me do anything else with that. All right. <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Look at this. Fast, Look at this. Here. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Man. Brings back memories of my youth. Spot as any. I'm gonna learn how to fish. This is gonna be more, <laughs> more buttons that I have to learn how to how to manipulate. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Well, I can tell you this. Can you show me where, Uncle Arthur? Well, over by those boulders would be good. LB and tap you RB. To use item, hold LB, um, and tap RB, there it is. Well, first, we need some bait. Hold LB, uh, we, we can use cheese, a bobber fish, no bait. Bread bait, corn bait. Let's use cheese. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier cheese bellier. bait is best for catching bluegill Cast and rock line. bass. Oh. Swing the rod back over your shoulder. Hold LT to grip motion. the rod. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Um, I, I, I am, and I, it, Why aren't you fishing? Well, I don't know, Jack. Uh, hold RT to pull the rod back. Release RT to cast. Like that? RT to hook Good. the fish when you feel a All bite. We'll now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching. Don't yank it yet. Fish when you feel a bite. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Oh, I missed it. Ah, damn it. Damn. Uncle Arthur! Hold LT grip. RT pull back. Release. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, RT to hook the I'm fish when you feel a there. bite. Yo, 
okay there? I think so. This is hard. I think you've got a fight. Look. There we go. Is it a big one? You see him fighting there, Jack? Oh, he got That's off. That's you got to be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Well, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm going to try reeling him in nice and steady. I get it? It's a bluegill, looks like. No, that's bigger than a bluegill. Look, Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Okay. Can I take a break from fishing? Press Y to I wanna quit. make something. Quick, equip okay. cheese bait. some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Well, let's try again. Oh, man. Fish attracted to bait will often nibble before taking a bite. Yeah, no kidding. There, got him. Gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Pull down on L to drag the fish toward me. This is clearly the spot for smallmouth bass. We'll keep this one. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. <laughs> boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit wait try not to worry it's good for you it's good for you i guess huh you've got a bite of water got one jack pull him in i am i'm getting him jack what are you making there you'll see it's a surprise You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just want to catch one more. Then we'll call it a day. Four pounds? That's a little one. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. Aww. What a fine young man. Hey. In such oh. complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? What's it to you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Okay. Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. Can I turn myself in? $5,000? <laughs> for me? Can I turn myself ah! in? We want <laughs> Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard... 
Guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Uh -oh. Bring in Vanderlind. You have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac, Mac Callender. He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Oh, Slow, man. but merciful. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. You enjoy being a rich man's toy, do you? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy Ooh. your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> mm. Who are they? Snakes. No one to worry about, no one at all. Well, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Ah. Uh, all right. So on the train robbery, there was conversation between John, Charles, Arthur, about they were possibly set up because the law, a lot of them showed up real quick. And these suckers just tried to uh, recruit Arthur. Now, Mac Callender. Remember, uh, episode one, Davey, who we never got to meet, he was already in the wagon dying, and we were in that blizzard, and that, man, that was such a, a great, great introduction to a game, the best introduction to a game I've, I've ever seen. We're in that blizzard up there, and, and hurting, everybody's starving and freezing, and uh, Davy was was uh, dying in the wagon, and he did die when we got to the cabin. I gotta watch that again. Uh, starting it. Understand a few things here. These guys approached Arthur. So it is reasonable to assume that they have approached other members of the gang. Smoke break. I'm back. Um, man, I'm thinking and thinking and thinking. Uh, I don't like this turn. Um, let me get my headsets on. I don't. I don't like this turn. Um, because those guys easily could have um, tried to arrest Arthur. He's wanted. They know he's wanted. They got cause, and they didn't. I don't like this turn. Um, if we got a, if they got to somebody, um. And the gang, they got somebody on their side, on our, on, on the, on, our, on the inside, our inside, uh, tipping them off. Hmm, I don't like it. Um, let's see where this is gonna go as we get along with the story. Uh... All right, let me lighten this up. Um, 
he, he mentioned, you know, Jack is saying fishing is boring. Fishing is never boring. You know, uh, if it's boring, you're just not cut out to fish. Uh, it's never boring. I tell you, one time, my brother and I were up at uh, up, we're up fishing uh, in the Sierras, up past Nine Mile Canyon. And um, we'd been fishing all day, and uh, it started in the morning, and now it's, it's getting late afternoon. We've got our limit uh, camp, and the vehicle is a good uh, mile away. You know, we fished upstream. Just wonderful. Never didn't see another human being. We're walking back, and my brother goes, "Did you hear that?" Now, now the path you got the path here, and you got you know down here's a river, and then there's a slope. It slopes up real steep into the woods, lots of trees, and we couldn't see in the in there. I said, oh, "I didn't hear anything." So we take about three steps, and we hear the footsteps on the leaves, and we stop. And every time we took a few steps, it would take a few steps. And I'm like, uh, that's big. That's big. You could tell by the, the, the weight of the of the sound of its paws hitting the, the, the leaves on the ground. So we turn around. Now we're walking backwards, right? Because it was slightly behind us. And my brother says, we're being stalked. And uh, he's that's a bear. And I, yep, that is a bear. We can't see it. But every time we would take three, four, five steps, it would take the same number of steps as us. And when we stopped, it would stop. And man, I tell you, the hair on the back of my neck came up. You will feel fear. You will feel fear. Because all we had was our fishing poles and our knives to clean the fish. So we keep and and camp and the, and the vehicles a mile away. That thing tracked us for about half a mile, man, and um and and we saw it. We got a glimpse of it a couple of times, just a little bit, you know. And it's a it's brown. That's a brown bear. And I'm like, um, uh, my brother says, "What are we gonna do if it uh, charges?" I said, "Well, we'll throw the fish at it." <laughs> <laughs> he just wants the fish, I hope. Anyway, he veered off and we got back to camp and yeah, okay, enough of that. Um so no, fishing is not boring. What are we doing are you now? Taking me back? You all right, girl? Is he going to hop up here? Well, the good news is we have a fishing pole now and I can fish whenever I want and, and get food easy. The bad news is bad. Real bad. Because Look at this. Yeah, it was a day well, just like this when that bear was uh, stalking us. And I, don't I don't know why he decided what to... What did they uh, mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The I got... world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. I gotta watch my video. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> yeah. You see that there? I was flapping my jaws and I missed the first part of that conversation. I gotta, I gotta go back and watch my home video. Um, man, I, my, my head is spinning. This game gets my head spinning. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? Yeah. I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other. 
other fellow's name? Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Alright, so something else disturbing just happened. Did you see the look in Dutch's eyes when he said, why didn't you take them up on their offer? Did you see the look in Dutch's eyes? He suspects Arthur. Now, he raised Arthur from a little boy, right? Arthur was an orphan and, and Dutch took him in. But just then, the look in his eyes, see that? So his own kind of adopted son, he doesn't trust Arthur. Um, I gotta think. Um, um, John is in town. That was not part of the plan. Uh, I gotta think. Well, man, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, so to put my, what was my plan? My plan, I, I want to pay off that bounty. Um, and John is there. I, I see. I don't like that. He wasn't there at the beginning of this. Uh, so I wasn't on my plan. Now this wanted poster has been there uh, for like the last two episodes. So wanted to get that. Let's pay this bounty off. And um, I think the plan was to do the, uh, the poster. And my son said to visit the doctor for some reason. All right. Man. Ah, oh, this game. Hey, Arthur. You okay? If you're bored, there's always work to be done. I ain't bored. But you're too drunk and lazy to ever get bored. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, uh, well, food's ready. Let's see. Oh, uh, man. I, my head is spinning. Uh, but I guess I should just let hey, let it go. I mean, it'll play out. It, uh, it's going to play out. Real cheerful, sir. Well, then try smiling. We are going to be okay. No, sir. And enough with the sir. This ain't the army. We win our fights. <laughs> you and me both. I need time to think. Like, if I was just playing this game right now and not, you know, recording it, making a video, uh, I would have to uh, pause it, turn it off, and uh, Come on, girl. puff on a cigar and just think for about an hour. 
I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, here, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get ourselves prepared. Um, let's go with the varmint rifle. Have that equipped in case there's some small game to shoot. We do need those three-star pelts, but, you know. Um, will this give me integrity on this thing? Hell, <laughs> I can't shoot through the branches. Um, yep. I'll worry about hunting later. Um, like I say, the, 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 the plan was to uh, get that legendary buck to get the uh, talisman and then whatever um, the trapper can make from that legendary buck. But to get that talisman and before I go doing the um, the pelt uh, hunting for the satchel. And really what I want to do is just ride. I just want to ride up on a ridge somewhere and make camp and eat those fish and um, think. <laughs> Ponder the recent event. Look how beautiful this is. Man. I think I have enough money to pay off that $300 bounty that butthead Micah got uh, got put on us. Help a fella out. Hang on. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Mister? Give me something. But, you know, should we help this guy out? Who, who is he? Where is he? Who's, who's, who's asking for I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Where are you? I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. Give a fellow a nickel. I hear you, but I don't see you. Sounds like Lady Gabrielle's making money on the side again. Gentlemen, how you doing, friend? Hello there. Well, let's get this paid off like I wanted Ain't to. Nobody got a heart. Well, if I could see the guy, I, where's this voice coming from? Evening, friend. Hungry here. Mister. I gotta find that guy. Happy to assist you in a moment. Well, you get your butt over here. Hello. How can I help? Costing you a pretty penny to repay your debt. Holy moly. I have $693. Hate to say it, but nice doing business with you. <laughs> well, we had to get rid of that so I, because that's where the legendary buck is. I don't know where this is. Just to be honest, it was all a big misunderstanding. Well, X, I can just pay off. Well, it's only one left now. I never did anything wrong, but I got falsely accused, you know. That's, can we talk? Uh, I can... Yeah. <laughs> we could rob him? <laughs> Why would See we you later. That? Good evening. Evening. Yeah, I tell you, life ain't easy. I know how you feel. Well, what's, what else you got... Going on anyway, sorry, you don't need to hear this. Take care now. I wasn't gonna do the antagonize. All right, look, where's this? Where's this guy who keeps squawking? Will somebody help me out? I was in the army. Hey, boy. Is that him sitting down there in the, um, in the, um, oh yeah, we've, we've, we've helped him before. Um. Hello, sir. Hey, brother. Hey, mister, mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like. 
a brother, but I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, <laughs> you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your poppy passed. Because you slept on it. <laughs> What's your name, mister? Arthur. Even burn. Arthur? Move, will you? My uncle's name was Arthur. <laughs> okay. Uncle Arthur, we called him. On account of his name. Yeah. It's a fine name. A strong name. Like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yeah. Yes, you could. Okie doke. Uh, what did I say we were gonna do? Uh, yep. uh, um, oh, the wanted poster. Let's, uh, wow. <laughs> uh, you know. Wow. Oh, man. I like trains. Um, <laughs> uh, this game is my head is addled man uh, let's go spend a night in a hotel and have a bath um, and then we'll go get that uh, that wanted poster in a moment um, by, by what just happened down there at the river and then Dutch in camp and so all this other stuff going on Look how pretty this is, though, man. This is just... Hang on a second there, friend. Hi there, mister. Hello! Hello! Uh, you know, the O'Driscolls is calling these parts their home. You must like living here. Really? It's okay, girl. <laughs> just a scratch. Well, John's right there, and I don't know... That was not part of my game plan. There's the doctor's office there. We'll do that in the daytime. Right now, I, I'm, I'm gonna all right, girl. get a good night's sleep in the hotel, take a bath. Hey, mister. Think. Pard. You call me Pard? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Come on in. <laughs> uh, let's take a bath. Can you arrange a bath? I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. I'm still thinking, you guys. I'm just... I'm not even. Um, uh, scrub head. Would you like some extra help there? Sure. Sure, why not? Just relax. I'll take care of you. You let me know if you need anything, all right? If you don't mind, I ain't in much of a talking mood. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Ah, uh, yeah, you gotta get the right leg again. Uh, you can wash somewhere else now? I can do that. <laughs> yeah, oh, you forgot the right Making arm. parts clean enough for now. Sure. I'll just sit here for a minute. It 
it's it's giving me a prompt to exit the bath. But, uh, you know, I think we'll pass on that. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. All the best. rough country out there. Let me know if you need a place to rest. I'd like a room, please. Room's all yours. Head on up. Ah. I feel better. Is that a gallows? Mm. I lost the prompt. It was there and it went away. There it is. We shall sleep until morning. Detail it. Look at that. And you got the fire. You got the logs burning. All right, man. Smoke them if you got them. I'm on it. I'll be back. All right. Let's go uh, earn back some money. Bounty. Sleep well. I can't talk to him. I can just uh, get another bath. See you soon. Um. Morning. Hello. I guess we'll take the horse on up there. Let's just lead him, though, if we can do that. Can I just lead him? Well, you know what? Let's brush him. Brush her. lead it, 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 why won't I let me lead her oh, I just gotta tap it this way so, come on care to have some fun not today well that's too bad for you but yeah hey there hello hey mister hello I'm just enjoying this. Okay, then. Yeah, that's what they said. I am. I, I am. I mean, I'm sorry if it's boring. There's the doctor, uh, but I want to get, we'll, we'll kind of come back after we do this bounty and then we'll check out the doctor my son seems to think I need to do that I, did I hit him? Turf. Uh, 
very own avenging angel. Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry. Twenty-five dollars. It's a woman. The Terror of Valentine. A reward of twenty-five dollars will be paid for the rest of Ellie Ann Swan wanted for the crime of matricide. You put matricide. She killed her husband. What? They will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner wanted alive. Okay, a lasso known as the Black Widow. She has been seen in Cumberland Falls area, all right, with an unknown male <clears throat> who may be manipulating her. All right. That one? The Black Widow. They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear. Married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder, that kind of thing happened much around here? <laughs> this is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. I'll go and introduce myself. Poster says alive. A-L-I-V-E. Well, I'm glad you can spell. Be relentless in your pursuit. Bring her up near the right. border. Where is she? Um ooh, Cumberland Falls. Bounty honey. Eliane Swan. And then, oh, we've got that photographer over there. But that's not part of the plan. So we're gonna Drag her back here, see the doctor, and um, that is the plan. Hi there. Do that question mark by the doctor. Morning. You know what we can do first? Go, come on. Did that say jump to the wagon? I can jump on a wagon? No. I don't see the benefit in that right now. What am I gonna do here? Man, good looking horse there. Uh I'm all out of space. This American paint is uh William's horse. Um um, sell info, um, 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 American paint. Uh, I want to name it. Um, 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 I forget how to paint it. I don't want to sound all that weak. Um, Now we can buy some some stuff for the horse, I guess. Yep. Good. Um, what I want to do is name it. Um, how do I do that? Oh no. Well, we'll do it later. Yeah. Howdy. That's a nice one. Pretty day. My bounty. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, that's John. Um, he's not part of the plan today. And it 
is yellow, so I know he'll be around. Is he gonna let me jump on this thing? If I jump on this thing, I'll be in a bunch of Dutch, won't I? I'll just get myself in Dutch. Hey there, mister. <laughs> Dutch, that's a that's a old man talk for uh, getting in trouble. My dad used to say that to me, and I go, "Butch, don't you go out, don't get in any Dutch tonight. Don't you get yourself in Dutch." And of course, our leader's Arthur. name is Dutch. Yeah. Oh, am I glad I found you, Arthur? They got Bill. What? Who has it? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. You coming? Yeah. All right, lead the way. So how'd you find him? He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track him pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp. I head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. Good morning. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is. There's a girl. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. <laughs> Save his ass first. Oh, we're about kicking it later. So I need to make sure I put on a mask for this probably. I do not want to get wanted again. Javier, I owe you for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Uh, what's next? Car being repeated. See any signs of the law? So I 
think I'm okay to stick around. Peaches. Brandy. Miracle tonic. Come on. Get on it. I guess I'm too full of chewing tobacco. Uh, well. Now, corpse, yeah, we know, um, bounty hunting, that's where we're headed. I was just sort of getting the hang of the dead eye and then they changed it the dirty dogs changed it to where now I have to hit RB and I was trying to mark with RB and it I, well you know you saw it. <laughs> you saw it right now. to rob me. It's a Dr O'Driscoll. Sawed off shotgun. I already have one of those. It's O'Driscoll's. Let's get O'Driscoll's. Dirty dogs. 
Uh, wasn't there another one over here? Okay then, girl. Driscoll's. This game just has a way of jamming up my brain. You know, I have a I have an idea of what I want to do, and then all of a sudden it just throws curveball after curveball after slider after spitball at me. dismount. I got, oh, wait a minute. I got to take her alive. All right, I got what I need. Not gonna hunt. Um, so where, where is she? Is there a cabin? A tent? kind of out of the white. I mean, I guess we can check. <clears throat> yeah, I'm out of the, almost out of the white. I'm in the edge of the white area. Um, yeah, I'm out of it now, so she's not here. She must be down here somewhere. She's hanging out in the woods. That's what I got to do to get her to show up. There she is. Nope. This is the top of that pine tree. Well, I 
Oh, here we go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Stop rolling. Damn, that hurt. <laughs> I was looking. I was looking over here. Here. Where I thought I, I thought I saw her. I didn't wasn't watching where I was walking. Oh man. Oh, for Pete's sake. You okay, Arthur? <laughs> His miracle he didn't break his arm. Um I don't know guys. Where where is she? Um she's got a feller with her. She's probably gonna have to fight him. I don't get it. Okay, if I was the Black Widow, where would I be? Uh, man, hold on, I think I messed up my, uh, my camera. Yeah, I, I record on the PC and the mouse. I think I bumped the mouse and messed up my camera. I hope, uh, I hope that recorded my little uh, tumble. I mean... she is guys I was gonna lasso that thing um We're just wasting all kinds of uh, time. She's down by the river? down there I'm, but that, that's out of the white I hear a voice that means you kill your sweetheart where's come over here right there come here really weren't my sweetheart he was a bully okay and he got what was coming now you gonna come over here and romance me? It says there's other fellers. It says right there in black and white. <laughs> Y'all talking about Frank and Henry. And Howie. I just had bad luck with my men folk is all. Bad luck? Until I met you, you turned my world around. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! Eliane, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the cover. What Ow. kind of men are you? Puny, backstabbing little. Oh, crap. oh, you men are useless. Let's make this quick. Save me. man. Damn you. Crap. I did 
did not go well. I got cut. She cut me with a knife. Oh man, she's too fast for me. I should get on the horse. How is it that uh, she can outrun me? Yeah, we need to mount up, but I think... I said I could loot her. Let's drop her. And loot her. Hey, you don't mind, do you? 73 cents. Oh, we got some more stuff off her, too. Made a mess of that, <clears throat> but oh dear, what came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. She is but just a Looney Tune. I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl, R really. I promise I am. Yeah, she's certifiable. You me, don't you? Don't you, Mister? Did not loot the man you killed back there. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. Yeah, you do. A fever of the brain. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I've done bad things, but yeah, you have. A jail. A jail ain't where I belong. Yeah, it is. A sanatorium, maybe. Yeah. Get me help, Mister. Please. Put you in a sanatorium, and you'll kill Save everybody in the, the place. Sheriff. And moreover, from myself. Driscoll Bridge. You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Aw, shucks. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they've all been weak. That's what my problem's been. Be quiet with that. I couldn't resist. I should have looted the guy she killed, huh? You sad sack of shit! I wish I'd cut your belly open and sh This the help you're looking for? Good girl. 
Now that's a well-bred horse you got there. <laughs> he comments on the horse. I got a woman hog-tied and strapped to the back of my horse, and he compliments the horse. Coming up on the jailhouse. You got a ride ahead of Anything you. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. You can rest now. Cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. You do. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. Man just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved. I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Yeah, well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. I need so another bath. It seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Mm. Let me out. No. To exercise a little. Well, I'm I'm crime. immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Back up there. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Oh, Just the, the two, two of, of us. us. And to think you were snipping around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. My apologies, You see, sir. Sheriff, I know your secrets. And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria? Don't you dare mention Moira again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do his part. Ah. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. Now, for... the first time we brought a bounty in, he was up to some hanky-panky with this uh, woman, Moria. We didn't know exactly what the hanky-panky was, but I think we got another clue right here. All right, man. Break time. Smoke them if you got them. And we'll go... Uh, well, the doctor, I guess we'll go check out the doctor. All right, let's go see what the doctor is all about. I need to move my mouse so I don't bump it again. All right. Give me, officer. Right Get next. off me. Get off me. You talking to me? Um, let's see what this question mark's all about. Well, the question mark's right on the back. Really? 
I've wasted years on you, and I'm impossible. You're married, too. You can be impossible. Impossible. You are a sad little small town. Can I kick this door in? Rat of a man, you know that? A rat. A rat who thinks he's a cat. That's your problem. Go to hell. Um. What's going on in there? What's going on? Why can't I get in? Huh. All kinds of secret stuff going on here in the back. Mister? Hello. Welcome, sir. You new patient? Snake oil. You have no idea the trouble I had to go through to get that. Now, if you're going to want to stay sharp, I should have a stock available. Look in my catalog. Okay, let's see what I want. Chewing tobacco. I've got plenty of this stuff. Potent horse medicine. Surprised those ain't sold out yet. Usually go quick. Well. Miracle tonic. I don't see any reason to buy anything, do you? I don't see any reason to. I heard a rumor that some hill people ain't got no scruples about making supper out of folks. What? Ain't no cure for that. You know, this feller down the way won't let his woman get any rest. I hear them at all hours of the night. Is that the sheriff? Well, excuse me, can I get back here? Wait a sec. You can't be over there. There's nothing for you back there, sir. This shop ain't the place for your tomfoolery. Being polite. What do you want? This is private. Get lost. Christ sake, get the hell out of here. Think I'm gonna put up with you? The question mark went away. I can take anything. I, not that I would want to. I don't want to get a bounty on me again. But Forget about it. All right. Glad you settled down. Now let's keep it that way. Hmm. Enough of that. Huh. Well, I don't get it. Finish up. I gotta leave.
Huh? An O'Driscoll. I did not mean to fire the weapon back there. I just it was saying to aim it. Easy there. Help the blind. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I'm trying to bring up dead eye. Am my is my dead eye done? Maybe charity will find you. It won't bring up dead eye. That is not anything like what I wanted to do. Nothing like what I wanted to do. I am upset at myself. not make camp why can't I make camp oh that's why 
Not here, I guess. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, man. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. I don't know what to do. Yep. Sure did mess up my plans. Where's his hat? dollars <sighs> how'd I get over there oh this is all I, I'm wanted all over the place here oh man ah oh man wanted in Valentine as well Not wanted here. That was terrible. What the Come heck? On. There's no need for this. Just get away from me. I sense bad energy returning. Stay away! Your stench precedes you. Stay away from me! I can't do anything with him. I sense bad energy returning. Stay away! I can't do anything with him. Someone help me! Well, I was trying. I sense bad energy returning. Stay away! all I just screwed everything all up To wanted territory? Bounty $20. Oh, it's Valentine. 
Um, I was trying to get over here so I could pay that. Um, I guess we just got to be careful. the clippers for the haircut I wanted to get. The doctor's office question mark is gone. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the O'Driscoll mm -hmm. boys. What you stare I at? I made it Move right off. with you, I swear. Well, <laughs> I guess you just wondering what you boys are up to, that's all. Move along, we'll get you next. You two can't win a fair fight, that it? Looks like you need a lesson. Oh, Crystal's a steam holder. Yes, sir. I am sending you to hell. What happened to my guns? Every one of us on Crystal's gonna be. What happened to my guns? What happened to my guns? Not understand a lot of things. I do not understand. I just keep messing up. It was gonna be a fist fight. And he pulled a gun. Yeah. Man, why?
okay, girl? My head is spinning, man. I can't do right <laughs> for trying, man. Easy now. Each to their own, my friend. Howdy. Oh, hello again. Well, I'm glad you're doing the right thing. Not a train, but I'm running on my horse. Lord. figure out what happened back there at the back of the doctor's office. Well, what happened was I accidentally fired my pistol, but I shot the wall of the back side of the doctor's office, right? I just shot the wall. And I'm then all of a sudden I was wanted, I guess, for firing my pistol. And then I killed a sheriff, or a lawman. But that was self-defense. I mean, he had no call, you know, shooting at me. I just accidentally discharged my firearm into the building. I mean, you know, he had no call to, 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 to shoot at me. You 
you done good, girl. Hey, friend. Yep. My head is... Morning, hey, mister. partner. Oh, what's going on? I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, I know old John. I don't get me in trouble. Um, Alright, that's enough for one day. Hey there, pal. Can you help me? Could you use some help finding my way home? I can't make it your tail. I live in front of the saloon, next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Morning to you. Welcome back. You arrange the bath, I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. You just head down the corridor there. I am perplexed. I mean, I know what happened. I just don't know why. Well, I mean, I know I fired the, the pistol by accident. I can hear that goddamn butcher whistling and shouting his lungs off. The stink that comes through these walls. I can't believe it sometimes. You got any rooms? Room's all yours. Head on up. Head for uh, Shiz Porter. Um, the guy said that uh, there was a pup, pup shotgun pup action. 
that I missed. And I might still be able to get it. That was on my list of things. Some scrap or something. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Mr. You, I thought I was gonna be. Oh, go! Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna be a gone. Oh, you, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh, whoo, This will help with the pain, at least. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. I have a field day over this back in town. I can't greet him anymore. Guess that's all I can do. I guess it serves me right. Oh. <sighs> you really did a good thing. I neglected to loot this cabin. if it's too late. Yeah, it looks like it's too late. Whatever it was in here that was worth it, um, I blew it and it's gone. Well, there's still something here. Healthcare cure. Apparently, I have all of that I can carry. Yeah, I, I think I blew it, guys. And you were telling me there was a pump action shotgun in here. And, um, Missed it. I 
That's the only thing I see flashing. And it's not letting me get to it. It's not letting me get to it. Um, whatever that is, it won't let me get it. Um, so, I'm going to guess... missed it. Yeah, it's nothing. Not done. Well, at least I can, uh, my mind about it and now I need to pay this bounty off um, and there's Micah he was on the list to do today um if I can get to here and this is out I'm not wanted here if we can stay um, out of the red we can pay this bounty off yeah. and uh, I think we have time to do Micah I don't know how long this is already it's a whole bunch of mistakes hey there, man hi there mister hey. Um, Like we're good. We're out of the red. Well, it's gonna. It wants to take me down, down here into the red. Um, a Wallace Station has a post office, and that should keep me out of the um, red. elk but but man I don't know about this episode guys you know uh, I don't know seems like nothing went right everything went wrong Well, Abigail was good, efficient. Ah, uh, you have entered legendary animal territory. Now this, that's this guy. But there's a legendary buck over here that um, yep. we want to get to get that talisman before we go do any serious hunting. Buddy. So let's get this bounty taken care of and let's see what Micah, well Micah's <laughs> just going to get me wanted again. Um, you 
know what? Easy. What condition are my guns in? I don't believe I've used this. Yeah, it does not need to be maintained. Now let's not get my horse run over by train. You're all square. Jeez Louise. Good day, sir. any more food for her. Oh boy. Um, we might need to pick some greenery here. I, I thought I bought um, that's going to feed me. something to feed her. Thought I did. Yeah. Good girl. Howdy, partner. Damn. Give, give, give me a chance to talk to it. I was holding down LT. Yeah. Am I like that evil? I'm sure Micah is going to improve that. Micah is going to make us good guys here. Now, come on. Whoa, whoa, baby. You done good, girl. Shh, shh, shh. Easy now. Damn it to hell. There we go. You even know how to use that damn thing? Is that a real quick 
Sensitive financial matters, I'll leave you to it. Well, let's see if this safe is worth the effort. I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. I could pick it up. Not pick him up. I have a key on him or a combination. Any dynamite? <laughs> oh, get away from there. <laughs> I didn't get far enough hey, away. Even got the horse. you interact with something bad happens. Did I just mess up the rifle and as well?
Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, <laughs> look at these dopes. There's not a brain between them. Listen. You got any supplies for sale? Food? Medicine? I'm starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Can't sell him any meat. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Apple sees sell supplies to the foreman. Screw that car. Okay, then, girl. Nice camp. Speaking of which, yeah. I should camp before we get to Micah. Butthead. Micah the Menace. He's right up here. camp before we get to him. Get this gum powder off my clothes. <laughs> Good grief, man. I don't have anything to make a recipe out of it with.
Yeah, I know he still got the gunpowder, black powder all over us, man. All right. Oh, man. Break. Smoke him if you got him, man. Let's get Micah. Let's get wanted. For at some food. No. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> Make it easy. close. trouble. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Well, seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. Yeah. You and me? Yeah. Do robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good... Um... We need, view of the trail. we need we need a mask. Uh, where's the mask items? What are you doing anyway, Cap? Been out here like some crazy hermit. Exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. 
Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Pastor's got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Oh. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here. Any minute. Here we go. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Attack the guards. Stop the coach. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! What the hell? Guns up. We got come.
I dismounted by accident. Yep. I put one in him. Drivers. I need some help here. I'm coming. I just ran into a tree. Just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. So he's driving. Here. Find a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. All right, a better rifle. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Now what? What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife, something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen. I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Yeah. Dutch knows hold I'm a fella there. that gets things done. Same as you. Get shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! What? <laughs> Shoot, please. We're in a cutscene. I can't do anything.
Run this, you jackass! That'll show them. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll? Huh, huh. Think you've got a point. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. What a great conversation. Can I just leave at will here? Meet Mike at the stagecoach. Hey, give me a hand with this, will you? Take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On a well, this little mess. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. Yeah, Whatever like that I means. Said, that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Yeah. Total take. Gang share 600, your share 300. Witness murder. Whoops, let's get out of Dodge. Um. Man. Micah, Micah, Micah! Bunch of looting to be done. I guess I have time. I don't see any red showing up. Oh, there's red showing up right there. There's a witness showing up right there. Yeah, it's probably ain't worth it. I don't know. We've got a rifle out of it. I think it's a better repeater than the one I have. Check it out later. You ain't looking for gold here, is you? Because, uh, I called it. <laughs> I said I called this spot, partner. Go on, get out, will you? All right, all right, take it easy. Ought to be.
Wah. I think that's gonna do it for the day, oh. Next one, we will be peaceful and hunt, uh, trying to get that satchel situation handled, and uh, I don't know what my thoughts are about this, I really don't. Um, Hello, Susan. Morning, dear. Hello. Morning, mister. I really don't, I really don't know what my thoughts are here. Let's look at the map real quick. Um, it looks like everything is done except for this photographer, helping him out, helping John out. I'm going to stay away from, from uh, gang activities here, though. Um, and I want to get that legendary um, buck and, then, and get the rest of the animals... Uh, that we need for the satchels and that'll be uh on the next episode i just want to come over here to the donate Ooh, place morning, and, and see how much money i've got i have 660 dollars wow um here let's uh let's upgrade the uh the food situation if we can uh, lodgings um, here's provisions what you reading Dutch Evelyn Miller of course that, that old windbag he's no looks like he still there. needs more he is a, a seer he sees things we don't um, know yet I know can I do more season. I can Where restock it afraid? Of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. It won't let me. You're probably right. You know. All right, that's good enough. You know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I, I'm just an old outlaw. And we'll need more food soon, Mr. Morgan. I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Many thanks. Well, you're amazing. Not the best quality, I'm afraid. Well, uh, better than nothing, Pearson. Thank you, Arthur. Well, I didn't get to get my hair cut. I know what you guys think of all this. Um, I've got mixed feelings about how I handle all that. It seems like we just did, we had a whole bunch of dubious uh, activity there. I don't know what the doctor was all about. I uh, really don't. And uh, I thank you for watching all and putting up with me mumbling, fumbling, and stumbling through all of this. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much um, for watching. You take care of yourself. We'll see you on the next one.